Alright, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. We're back at it again. This is a great millstone of, of, of course, Virginia, as always, to give the latest news, articles, lessons of the spirit of power of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. As always, and of course, first and foremost, we to give all praises and glory and honor due to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, and Kodesh. We say double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who well for teaching us the truth, and of course, peace and blessings and salutations to you. I come out there to push this truth throughout the full course of earth, to the best of their ability, uh, scattered through the full course of earth, just like it. To the, it's like it, to the best of their ability, scattered the full corner, wherever they may be. But then we say Shalom. Shalom. So of course, like I said, uh, before we get started, of course, uh, we're gonna uh, get the brother uh, to read the title of the article. Uh, this is off. This is off of the Peter website, and the title of it is "Lab-bound monkeys escape highway crash with viruses." And of course, see, man, like I said, man. Like I say, Isa, like I said, you know, he always messes with these animals, doing all types of experiments, being a damn devil that he is. And like I said, at the same time, though, like I said, man, even these animals are damn tired of, 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 of this damn devil, man, because because Isa has been plaguing and torturing these animals for thousands of years to the point that that basically they're confused as well. But believe it or not, because they do got feelings and they do got, you know, like I said, you know, feeling emotions and they do have some type of sense in them, you know, instincts. Mm -hmm. But like I said, Isa splicing and giving them rum types of foods and like I said, using them as test subjects like before, you know, like rat, 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 rat rats because Butt like I, and shit. Yeah, yeah, kind. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things Isa likes to do is, like I said, man, he likes to use animals, like I said before, as test subjects to see what happens to them and this and that. And, and then, like I said, once he's done with the animals, he likes to use a test. I'm um, just like a, um as like I said, he like he is like to use pestilence or or the virus as as you know to the people and as you can see you know like I said you know like I said this is not the new because like I said when you watch certain movies like the like the brother said earlier about the movie I think Outbreak Contact. and that's one and the movie Contagion, Contagion. and another one and uh, another one get one is is the first movie of I think it's called The Rise of the Planet of the Apes mm. that's a good one too and then like I said when you watch these movies you see how these animals affect you know you know certain people and then next thing you know start to get in the plague and they Put it like this, like like how Isa did in the twenty twenty. I think it was the beginning of twenty twenty about 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 uh I think it's uh Wuhan, right? Mm -hmm. Right, Wuhan. right. Yeah, with the with the bat situation, you know, with the bat eating the oh yeah the the bat soup because you know going down with Moab and and all of a sudden right people thought it was you know oh you know this and then that's next thing you know started happening in China. The next thing you know, all of a sudden. I don't know where somebody got, you know, like I said, got sick and then affected to America. And then that's how the quote unquote pandemic came to be. And then all of a sudden, a year later or, or a year, uh, a, a year, a month down the line or a year that later, all of a sudden it just disappeared. Con, you never heard nothing else about that bat. That. <laughs> <laughs> it just suddenly disappeared. Now, now all of a sudden, Moab ain't affected no more. Now it's not. Oh, now people getting. The 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 the, uh, the vid out of nowhere like I said oh it's c c what did people even what keep keep track of this stuff that's crazy um, they should have been killing bats left and right mm -hmm. fuck the guano God. <laughs> they should have been killing bats like yo God, God. but 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 we know that these heathens have been have been eating these animals for 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 for, for years man God. you know because they the heathens anyway so. Like I said, whatever happens to them, like I said, I said they don't get fucked uh, the same as, you know, like I said, you know, uh, the nation of Israel, man, because we have dietary laws yeah, for man. a reason, man, not to eat those things, man, because it's not beneficial, man. Yeah. Not because you see this thing that every animal was meant to be eaten, man. No, man, that's not the case, man. Some animals were, were actually be help meats, you know, like, like for example, like, like dogs, right? They're supposed to be, not according to Esau's term with the man best friend, but we know, like I said, what, a dog is actually useful in a certain situations. Like I said, we've seen it, man. Like I said, when you train up an animal a certain way, they're actually useful, man. Yeah. But for, you know, like I said, mainly Moab and Ammon, you know, the quote-unquote Chinese and Japanese, man, they just eat anything, man, just... And they call it a delicacy and also has benefits and this and all that, man. Which is just, like I said, a bunch, bunch, bunch of bullshit, man. God, they need the law. God, yeah, definitely, man. That's why in the kingdom, man, like I said, man, I'm going to put them in orders. Yeah. Let me see. So I want to get the scriptures and Proverbs. Uh, God. Let me see if I can get it real quick. God, this is Proverbs chapter 12, verse 10. It says, a righteous man regardeth the life of his beast. But the tenders and mercies of the wicked are cruel, man. And as you can see, when, like I said, when, like I said, when you see Esau, when you go to these zoos and aquariums, man, these animals in these little small cages, like I said, like I said, man, the animals, like I said, being confused, like I said, they're not used to, like I said, adapting in these environments to the point where, like I said, they lost their natural use. And, and then you see Esau talking about, oh, free these animals, then, then once you put them in the wild, they don't know what to do because what? They've been, 
but because what they've been uh indoctrinated in their captivity for so long you put them in the wild they're gonna they're gonna, they're gonna die eventually man you know yeah. same thing that happened to us to our tribes what happened like i said what what when you took our like i said took us away from our nationality uh our heritage and all that man we lost on who we were man yeah you know you know we can go back to oh go back to africa and this and that man you know like i said because what we had nowhere else to go yeah <laughs> because you know we can come back home to to corn israel man you know because what that's the foul like, you know man what those uh those uh those uh those uh cause oh, i wait, wait, what i say you know those damn oh yeah gutter rats you know took over the land man mm -hmm. and desecrated it man i got a precept for you bro okay go ahead the book of job chapter 30 and verse one but now that they are but now they that are younger then I have me in derision, whose fathers I would have disdained and have and have set with my so long, let me read this again. But now they that are younger than I have me in derision, whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. Hmm. You don't get that, or you know I mean? Yeah, you go break it down. Oh, kind of. Yeah, I mean, you know, this devil is just straight up wicked because you don't. You see how he treats his own people. Imagine what he's doing to the animals. Mm -hmm. You know. John. You know, I mean, this devil likes to stick things in holes that shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. You know, and there's no telling what he's gonna do with the dogs. You know, there was a video about a year, a year or two ago about you know this Edomite chick was like. Come on now. You mean to tell me that you don't sleep with your dogs? Did y'all see that video? Mm -mm. No, my, but like I said, it's I not surprising, man. Either my yeah, chick was like, <laughs> you know, I sleep with my dogs, don't you? <laughs> you know? And and, and 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 so that's just the nature of these people. You, you know, it's just crooked. You know, they got a crooked spirit. They have a wicked spirit. That's what... That's how they were built. Mm -hmm. You know? How can you make that crooked straight? You can't, you know, so, you know, like the brother was getting into, you know, he has no, he has no sense of righteousness towards animals mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. And of course, Esau gets off by torturing these animals and stuff like that, man, you know, behind the scenes that you don't know, man. Kind of, if I may, it's coming out that, that the works of Dr. Gucci <clears> is... <throat> Is now starting to come out about how cruel he was to the animals mm. and to children, you know, in inside his laboratory. Uh -huh. Yeah, there you go, man. Uh -huh. So, you know, these people are just wicked, bro. Uh -huh. Let me get the article. Yeah, go on, go on, go ahead. All right, so reading the, reading the title again Lab Bound Monkeys Escape Highway Crash with Viruses. Update January 24th, 2022. Peter had Peter has obtained eyewitness information that a woman at the scene of last week's truck crash in which two crates containing 100 monkeys who have been transported to a laboratory flew onto the road. Um, got an got an eye full of monkey saliva. Her eye is weepy and affected, and she has developed a cough. She now, she's now on both antiviral drug and, and medication to protect against rabies. When the crate of monkeys are flown in, when when crates of monkeys are flown into the U.S., they are unloaded by workers and fully in in full body protective equipment because the risk of disease transmission is so great but none of the people who weighed who who wagged through the terrified monkey's fate who wagged through the terrified monkey's feces and urine smeared across the highway wore so much as a face mask the centers for disease control and prevention should be scrambling to ensure that numerous other people who are at the scene aren't in danger. While herpes B has not been found in monkeys from Moradius, where these primitives 
where these primates are from, studies show that one has looked for it recently, either, so I'm not going to read this again, where the primates are from, studies show that no one has looked for it recently either, and monkeys may harbor a, num a number of unknown viruses. The monkeys, some likely injured, and all surely terrified, remain on the highway in sub-freezing temperatures for hours without any protection or veterinary care mm -hmm. as onlookers peered into the crates and some attempting to upright them. Mm -hmm. The U.S. Department of Agri... Oh, like you said something real quick, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, don't forget. Oh, yeah, I'm glad I said that, too, because, like I said, a lot of times when you like, the animals get hurt, they don't get treated, man. So, mm -hmm. what, they get all infected and... And like I said, all types of stuff, man, mm -hmm. you know, that, that, that's pretty much it, man. Like I said, that's another way how, let's say, let's say sickness can get rise, man, without getting like, these animals treated, man. Yeah. You know, especially how fragile and weak they are, you yeah. know. And then, like I said, just imagine how, like I said, you know what I mean, they got to go through the pain just, just, just bearing it, man, you know. Yeah. Kind of, that was it. So I can go ahead. Kind of. The, the U.S. Department of Agriculture is now investigating in response to a complaint filed by PETA. Importing monkeys for experimentation is carried out with almost no oversight. Monkeys arrive by plane from Asia or Africa after enduring sometimes day-long trips as they sit in their own urine and feces. So the monkeys that were on this truck sat in their own yeah. urine and feces. Mm -hmm. You know, and they said that the people were wagging their way through it it's crazy <laughs> it, you know it's crazy um then then they're trucked to undisclosed quarantine sites before being sent to laboratories ac across the country if 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 monkeys develop bloody diarrhea or other symptoms after their quarantine period peter has learned that no officials are informed and no one seems to care wow for the safety of animals and humans, the U.S. must stop pretending that experiments on, on monkeys are useful and stop importing them. Yeah, you, you don't like the monkeys that they sent up to space. Okay. You know? Okay, okay, yeah. Um, in our complaint, we point to these p possible violations. The monkeys' crates did not appear to be secured to the truck. Feces and urine from the monkeys were smeared across the highway as the crates were flung from the truck. The monkeys endured bitter cold for many hours in violation of the minimum temperature requirements. The monkeys, most if not all of whom were likely injured in the wreck, did not receive veterinary treatment. The monkeys who fled the scene, now reportedly three instead of four, were tracked and killed by local authorities who have remained silent in the method used to kill them. The American Veterinary Medical Association accepts gunshots as a humane method of killing only when the gunshot causes immediate death. Like these devils care. Mm -hmm. It is not at all clear that, th that this is how the three escaped monkeys were killed. The tragic incident is one more reason why PETA is calling for the disclosure of the federally funded National Primate Research Centers to take action to make that happen. So they care more about the animals than you Israelites. Uh, yeah. Um, reading on, a curious onlooker of a, a vehicular accident on, on the Pennsylvania Highway got the shock of a lifetime when she approached a crate that she believed held a cat cooing. Kitty, kitty. <laughs> so this idiot walks up to the crate saying, yeah, kitty, kitty. Instead, she found a monkey looking back at her. She had no idea that she may have been risking her life. One of the vehicles involved in the wreck was carrying... 100 long tailed Mag Magui? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
McQuay monkeys on their way to a quarantine facility in Florida when the wreck occurred. Because, you know, like I said, Issa always doing, like I said, man, Issa always got to mess with the animals, man. Keep doing some dumb stuff, man. You know, like that's what they're going to keep the animal at ease, man. I, I, I mean, animal, like, what the hell are you doing, man? You know? But, of course, I, like I say, but, like I say, especially, like I say, especially the she-devil, man. Always got to mess with these animals, man. You know? But they're not supposed to be messing with, man. You know, same thing with the dog. Oh, can I touch your dog? No, don't touch my dog. The dog might be dangerous. It might bite. It's just, it, they'll do it anyways. Like, why? I have a question, though, bro. You're, you're transporting monkeys from Pennsylvania to Florida hmm. in a truck that has crates that could cause the monkeys to fly off the truck in crates. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. If a person is is transporting a horse, they have a horse stable in the back of a truck yeah. that the horse goes into that if it did have an accident, the horse ain't going to fly out of, you know, the enclosure that it's in. Okay. Man, you know, this thing just sounds really fishy to me, but, you know, okay. that's me speaking as a man. You want, me, you want me to continue? Yeah, you can continue. Okay. When the wreck occurred, four monkeys escaped. And one is still missing. The other three had their first and last taste of freedom and the opportunity to climb trees. How do you know that? He probably let them escape too and be surprised, man. You so, know I said. Cons, so you had four monkeys escape who fled because of shock. And you're saying that they haven't climbed a tree? <laughs> they, they haven't gone that far to go back into their natural instincts of getting away and yeah, kind of, kind of. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, kind of, kind of. that's a little bit fishy, dog. Kind of. Man, these but who knows, man? Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, to the point where like I mean, he's probably had them as babies for so long and probably never went outside and probably indoctrinated them and all types of stuff, you know, like TV and try to make it communicate. I mean, like, I mean, you know, you know what I mean, I'm just thinking scenarios, man. How me, my, but you know, how does devil torture stuff sometimes, man? Mm -hmm. Devils of devil. This devil's a devil of devils. Kind of, man. The That's why in the kingdom, man, like some man, like some man, like some man, them animals gonna have one hell of a time too, man, getting on this damn devil, man. Because what? They gonna remember too, man. But like, like this damn devil, man, like said throwing poop or scratching them, biting them, all types of stuff, man. Like some man, like some man, you gotta have fun, man. Like I said, with these animals, man, against this damn devil, man. I'm telling you, bro. That's why when they came over here and brought all these diseases. To Gad, man. God, I know, yes, man. I'm telling what they were doing to animals. That that was on the boats when they were coming over. Huh. That's why the law says what? They got to be put to death, man. Like I said, man, because the animals are confused now. Mm. You know, they'd rather go mess with a human now instead of their own, their own, um, their own species, man. They'd rather fuck a dog than to fuck their women. God, damn. That's just out of, that's that's out of pocket right there, man. <laughs> it's out of but pocket, true, but, but it's true. true. But it's true. They rather fuck with animals than to fuck with their own women. Mm -hmm. That's why they women it makes, going to Jake. It makes sense. Don't make sense. The reason why I say it is because don't forget because he is a beast himself. Mm -hmm. Like I said, he's not a quote unquote human man. You yeah. know that's why he said what with mankind man. You know, but what he is a beast. Like I said, he's vile in the earth man. Mm -hmm. As the Lord said man, mm -hmm. that's how much low he is man. He's lower than a piece of sh. Um, he's lower than doo doo man. Mm -hmm. This is the Lord said that man. This is vexing, bro. It's the basis of men, man. God, and what's even sad is, like I say, he's in rulership. This is vexing. So who knows what he does? Like I said, even like I say, these corporate people that think they got money, who knows what they doing behind the scenes, man? Okay, go ahead, bring it up. It's uh, Isaiah sixty-six and three. He that killeth an ox is as if he slew a man. He that sacrificed a lamb. As if he cut off a dog's neck, he that offereth an oblation, as if he offered swine's blood, mm -hmm. he that burneth incense, as if he blessed an idol. Yea, they have chosen their own way; their souls delighteth in their in their abominations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. God, they got to show you, man. That's yeah, talking about E, man. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah, pretty much. That's what he does, man. I mean, like I said, now on YouTube, all like like I said, look, look at stuff that he does, man. Raw meat, all that is just not cooked, fully cooked. Mm -hmm. All that stuff, like I said, just just making stuff from the toilet and grill, from the toilet and all that stuff. Like I said, TikTok and all that. I mean, I mean you see, like, who does that? <laughs> and then what's even worse is, like I said, he feed it to the people, man. Yep. 
What? Yeah, remember? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry I'm gonna catch you. Like, you remember that uh, that toy thing that 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 he made with with the candy and all that? Like, came from the point that oh, he would, uh, one of those little smoothie, like, not smoothie, but one of those candies drinks he did that um that they made from the toy. Oh, I seen that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was like, oh my god, man. Yeah. The, uh, the mixed drink. And yeah, the mixed drink and drink. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh. No, I ain't see that. No. <laughs> It's probably a good thing because I'll be talking about it right now. Uh, okay. Right, kind of. You got to think of how... You done up? Yeah, you go. Yeah, I'm done, you got to think done. of how how wicked this man is and how vexing it is just reading an article to talk about it in the spirit. Because here it is. You have animals. You know, like what you were saying earlier, you know, like the animals in the zoos and, you know. Mm -hmm. This man has really fucked up the earth mm -hmm. he has really turned things upside down mm -hmm. to the point where animals don't even know their their own purpose in other words an animal don't know its purpose but even the animals are confused mm -hmm. that here it is you're doing abominable things to animals you're giving them diseases you're testing out diseases in order to make sure that you know, you got the proper lipstick and the proper deodorant. Mm. You, you know, you're sacrificing rodents and animals, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. just to make sure that it's okay to give us a bondable stuff that we can't live without. Okay. Like deodorants and lipsticks. You know what's surprised? That coffee stuff that came from that from an animal's uh, uh, rectum, man. That doo-doo stuff, man. Oh, I was surprised, man. Yeah, man. I was like, that's crazy. This fucking devil got to go, bro. This devil A lot of stuff really go. came from fecal matter, man. Like, man, you'd be surprised. Certain stuff is made from fecal matter, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Straight up stuff. Okay. Any, uh, anyhow. Now I'm pissed. Okay. Anyhow, the monkeys had just arrived in, in New York for what is likely... A squall breeding farm in in Mauritius. I, I can't pronounce that word. They had not been quarantined, and their health status was unknown. Monkeys can carry lethal pathogens that spread through their saliva, blood, feces, and urine. The photos that were taken at the site of the Pennsylvania monkey crash revealed a worrying lack of biosecurity. People dragging boxes, barehanded, motorcyclists, motorists sticking their faces in crates, and of course, the escape likely terrified and disoriented monkeys who were thrown out into the freezing cold weather. Salakia. The monkeys that were thrown out into the cold weather and will likely die from their injuries and or exposure or or be killed. Now hold on one second. In the in the previous paragraph, it said that three were killed and one is still out there. But it 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 just read here. Let me read this again in case you missed it. People dragging boxes barehanded. Motorists sticking their faces into crates, and of course, the escaped, likely terrified, and disoriented monkeys who were thrown out into the freezing cold weather and will likely die from their injuries or exposure or be killed. Hold on one second. In the previous paragraph, they said that they killed three of them. Mm. In this paragraph, they're saying that they will likely die from their injuries and or exposure or be killed. Mm. Probably could have been more, you know, they probably, you know, you know, like I say, you know, of course, you know, sometimes, you know, they use more than just three sometimes. So I wouldn't be surprised. But, but, Con, all right. Let's just, let's just go. Let's just say, let's just say, <laughs> yeah, let, let, let's just say, uh, what's that term? Uh, let's say, just let's say roughly speaking, if it was more monkeys, you know, Con. you know, just a, just to put less confusion. Current, current, current. But um, I guess you can. Uh, I guess you can go straight down to the point and the end it. You know, pretty much. Uh, the risk taken. Da da da. This monkey. Uh, I guess I go down to the last paragraph. Con. The industry that claimed to be developing vaccine. 
uh, 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 Vaseline's and treatments for human diseases not only fails to deliver results from animal-based experimentation, but also cruel t cruelly abuses and wastes the lives of sensitive monkeys and possess health risks to the general public by failing to safely contain the animals they use. Hmm. That is the point. Okay. The industry that claims to be developing Vaseline's and treatments for human diseases not only fails to deliver results from animal-based experimentation, but also cruelly abuses and wastes the lives of sensitive monkeys. So basically, like I said, everything that so so basically all the torture and all the test subjects and all that just went for nothing. It failed. Con and they're no longer using monkeys for that. They're using you. Con now, yep. Y'all the lab rats. <laughs> yeah, went from goyim, y'all still coyam slash half slash lab rats. Con, they're showing you in this article mm -hmm. that they care more about the future happenings of of a monkey than they do with you, Jakes. God damn, gotta show how how low you you know you, you know you two thirds are, man. Mm -hmm. God, I, God, I got one. I got one. A preset. Let me get this straight to the point. It says Ezekiel nine and four says, and the Lord said unto them, I was like, the Lord said unto him, Go to the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a part and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abomination that have been done in the midst thereof, man. You know, and that's the point, man. I mean, look, like I said before, look what he's done, man. You know, like I said to the earth, conf confusion, out of order, disarray. Like I said, the timeline, everything, man, it's just out of haywire, man. You know, that's what, what? A requirement, man. You know what I mean? That's why we hasten the day, man. You know, the devil can't keep going on how the way it is, man. Or else, like I said, this whole earth will be destroyed, man. Sooner or later, man. You know, like I said, spicing, doing all types of stuff, man. You know, God, like I said, you know, you know, watch the movies. That's what he wants, man. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was it on that. If I may bring it. You got something? Yeah, you got it all. You can bring yours out. Okay, come. And and, and this we looking like the brother saying we're looking for a kingdom to come. We're sighing and crying, hoping for that uh that mark of uh, exemption from judgment. But the kingdom to come, you're not gonna have animals uh uh treated, mistreated, you know? Yeah. But uh this is uh, Isaiah eleven. That's a couple verses. Uh verse five. It says, And righteousness shall be the girdle of, of his loins, and faithfulness the girdle of his reins, mm. that's in the kingdom. Mm. The wolf also shall lie with the lamb, mm. and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, mm. and the calf and the young lion with the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them, mm -hmm. and the cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, mm. and the lion shall eat straw like an ox. And the suckling child shall play with the holes of an ass mm. onto a snake. Mm. And the and the weaned child shall put his hand in the cockatrice's den. Mm. Uh. So we're gonna be at league with the animals again. You know, like, yeah, how the like way it was, was intended, exactly. Uh, uh, yeah, come. Uh, of course, like I said, we know that this isn't it, you know. Nothing can say go ahead go ahead and mess with our wild animal, man. Mm -hmm. Get yourself messed up. <laughs> we care deeply about the, the all the elements, you know, because it's the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua within mm -hmm. all of it. Ka. You know, when the, Lord, when the Lord created, He said it is good. Ka. You know, so yeah. what yeah. the Lord likes, we like. You know, Ka. it's vexing. Yep. If I may, Ka. go ahead, because that's going to be the good for the animals mm -hmm. and the rest of the Lord's creation. Mm -hmm. Well, the animals, I'll you know, I'll just leave it at that. But for you, wicked mother. The book of James chapter 2 and verse 13. For she, for he shall have judgment without mercy mm -hmm. that have shown no mercy. And mercy rejoiceth against judgment. We're going to be happy mm -hmm. judging you mothers. Mm -hmm. We're going to be happy showing you no mercy because you have literally shown nothing on the face of this earth mercy. Kind. Not even your own kind. Con. And even like I said before, and I started, like I said, he said, let's say the ten mercies of the wicked are cool. So no matter what Peter does, like all the stuff, like Leslie, they can't really do anything, anyways, man. You know, I hate this motherfucker. They fund it, you know. If they had no money right now, like I said, they wouldn't be doing this, man. You know, like I said, that's not gonna help mm -hmm. the animals. 
You know, the only thing you're doing is just sparing awareness, but you're not really doing anything, man. So what's the point of really having this PETA and these and the and these organizations, man? Yeah. You know, when it's by you, like I said, you got the main ones that's doing it, and these other nations that follow it, man. You yeah. know, for money and 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 and, and you know all, all these products and stuff, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why these animals be going extinct, man. You know, it's sad, and that's why what the Lord, you know, that's why what. The Lord had to reserve some of these animals, man, like 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 the behemoth, the lion, fin, the dinosaur, the T-Rex, and all that stuff, man. You know what I mean? The Lord had to head them away, man, because like I said, this that would have, like I said, like like I said before, everything would have gone extinct, man. Plain and simple. That's all I want to say. Here it is. You have an organization for fucking animals, for animals, and none of you, and none of you people are talking for Jake's. None of you people are speaking up. For us Israelites. Uh -huh. None of you people are talking about nothing dealing with my people. Uh -huh. You, man. Who asked out that, um, that uh, how thou doest, roughly paraphrasing? Come on. Mm -hmm. Nobody's asking how we doing. Uh -huh. Nobody cares how we doing. But yet and still, you care about a bunch of m monkeys on the side of a road. You know? Mm -hmm. Imagine... Imagine if it was a bunch of jakes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they wouldn't. Even, oh yeah, it wouldn't even get. Did the shoot, man? It wouldn't even get no recognition whatsoever, man. Um, no media coverage. No organization would would have helped. You know, just like certain situations. Uh, like I said, oh, even the animals have more rights than 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 than, than Jake, man. man. You know, like I said, like I said, you go ahead and mess with these uh Canadian geeses and get your ass fined. But go ahead and uh, shoot. Go ahead and um, murder a Jake. Mm -hmm. You know. With the right money, you can get uh, scot free, man. That's it. That's the world we live in, man. <laughs> I'm too pissed at this point. Uh, at all. So if anybody, so anybody got anything else, that that's pretty much it, man. So with that, hopefully, brothers was edified. Of course, it's a great milestone to get. Of course, as always, to give you the latest news, articles, and lessons through the spirit of poverty. How we, how we shy. As always, first and foremost, want to give all praises and glory and honor due to Yahweh yeah, by Hashem, Yahweh shy by Hashem, or Karkwadash. We say double honor said the elders of great millstone who well for teaching the truth. Of course, we say peace and blessings and salutations to you. I come out there to spend your truth with the four corners of the earth to the best of their ability. Scatter out the four corners of the earth. That one say shalom. Shalom. Wafla Baba. Shalom. Shalom.